Hey guys, welcome to the QBasic series part 2 and in this video we will be talking about operators in QBasic. So without wasting time, let's dive into the video. So operators are basically symbols which tells the computer to perform certain mathematical and logical calculation. In QBasic we have three types of operators. Arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator. So let's talk about arithmetic operator. Arithmetic operators are those operators which are used to perform basic mathematical calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. Here is the table of arithmetic operators used in QBC. So now let's use them and let's see what we get. So first let's look at the arithmetic operator for addition in QBC. As usual let's type CLS at the beginning. And for this program we need at least two variables with a value in order to perform addition operation so let's define a value x with a value 10 and x val variable y with a value of 5 and now let's print the value of x plus y print x plus y and the result should be 15 because 10 plus 5 is 15 let's run the program 15 it is so in this way we can also perform the minus operator for the subtraction operation so if we run this program then we should get 5 because 10 minus 5 equals 5 and 5 it is similarly if we enter here asterisk sign then we should get 50 because 10 into 5 equals 50 so let's run the program and 50 it is Again, if we enter here backslash, then it performs division. So let's run the program and 2 it is because 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Since these four operators are simple and easy to understand, so I don't think I need to explain more. So let's move to the integer division. Integer division is basically a kind of division which only gives us a quotient of a division. So, if we divide 7 by 2, then it will give only the value of 3 instead of 3.5. So, now let's check that out in our QBC program. So, let's change the value of x from 10 to 7 and value of y from 5 to 2. And I nearly forgot that uh, integer division is denoted by front slash, not the back slash. So now if we run this program then we should be getting the value of 3 which is a quotient of this calculation. So let's run and see what we get. As expected 3 it is and that's the difference between decimal or normal division and integer division. So now let's move to the modular division. Opposite to the integer division, modular division only gives out the remainder of the division. In QBasic, modular division is denoted by mode keyword MOD. So let's check that out. So instead of front slash, let's write MOD. And the answer of this calculation should be 1 because the remainder of 7 divided by 2 is 1. So let's run the program now and let's confirm that. And as expected, 1 it is. And now final remaining arithmetic operator is exponent operator. Exponent operator is basically used for defining power of a number like square, cube and more. In the QBC you can define exponent operator with this symbol and you can find this symbol on the top of number 6. So if you want to enter this symbol then you can press shift plus 6. So now Print x exponent y means 7 power 2 which also means 7 square. Now the output of this operation should be 49 since 7 square equals 49. So now let's run this program and confirm it. And 49 it is. So that's all arithmetic operator that you need to learn in this QBC course. Therefore let's talk about relational operator in QBC. Relation operators are those operators which defines the relation between two entities, either its number or string. 
so in this table you can see the relational operator used in qbc and the result of relational operator will be either true or false if true we'll see minus one in output and if false we'll see zero so let's begin relational operator with greater than and less than operator in this example program we can see that the program is checking whether 3 is less than 5 or not so its value should be 2 and the result that we expect should be minus 1 so let's run this program and let's see it and it's minus 1 which means it's true so now if we change the sign to this then now the program is checking is 3 is greater than 5 or not which is false and the output should be 0 so let's run it and the answer is 0 in this way we can also come to the conclusion that the result of relational operator depends on the relational operator sign so now let's look at the greater or equal to operator in this program we can see that program is checking either 3 is less or equal to 5 so in other words it will print true if the 3 is less or equal to 5 in this case it is less so the result will be true now let's run the program and it is true since we are seeing minus 1 similarly if we change the sign right about here now the program is checking either 3 is greater or equal to 5 in this case it is both wrong 3 is neither greater than 5 nor it is equal to 5 so the output of this program should be 0 so let's run this program and let's see it and 0 now let's look at equal to operator in this example the program will check the relation of 3 equal to 5 or not since 3 is not equal to 5 the output of this program will be 0 let's run it and 0 it is now if we change 3 into 5 now since the 5 is equal to 5 the result output will be true which is minus 1 now let's run it and confirm it and here is minus 1 and that is equal to operator in QBC. So now let's talk about the final relational operator that is not equal to operator. Not equal to operator will only give true output if the first operand is not equal to the second operand. And not equal to operator is denoted by this symbol. In this example program, since the 3 is not equal to 5, thus the result will be true. And minus 1 is output. Now if we replace second operand with 3, now program is checking is 3 not equal to 3, that is false, 3 is equal to 3. Now if we run this program, then 0 is the answer. And that is all relational operator that you need to learn in QB6 series. Therefore let's move to the logical operator. Logical operators are those operators which are used to combine two or more than two relational operators that we have learned before and gives our logical answer that is true or false. So let's start with AND operator. While using AND operator, we will be able to get true value only if all the expression and condition are true. So now let's create the example for AND operator. So first CLS. So print 1 is less than 2 and 2 is less than 3. In our program since all the expression or condition that is 1 is less than 2 and 2 is less than 3 is true thus output is minus 1 which is true. But in this AND operator chain even if we add one expression that is false then the result of whole expression will be false like if we add 
another and chain and with the expression that is false like 5 greater than 8 which is false now it will affect the result of whole expression and make its final result false now let's run it and check it out and the result is 0 which means the result of whole expression is false and that's how an operator works now let's move to the OR operator opposite to the AN operator OR operator will display true result even if one expression or condition is true in the OR operator chain and displays false output only if all the expression are false so now let's create the example for OR operator so first CLS print so let's put first expression true and second expression false so one smaller than five or five greater than eight now since we are using our operator and even our one expression that is five is greater than eight is false but when we run this program it will show us true value and there we go but if we change both statement from true to false then we'll find that since both statements are false the result output is also false so let's run the program and zero it is which means false and that's how our operator works so now finally let's talk about not operator not operator is strange operator which reverses the value of any expression that comes behind not so if expression value is true then it will convert into false and if the expression value is false then it will convert into true so i don't want to confuse you more so let's look in the example say yes now print not smaller than 5 in this expression 3 less than 5 is true but when it is put behind not operator then the not operator will change its value from true to false and displays the final value as false so let's check it out and 0 it is which means not operator is on the work and true is converted into false but similarly if we change the statement from true to false here like 3 is equal to 5 actually 3 is not equal to 5 but what not operator does is it changes the false value that is 3 is equal to 5 false value into true value and the answer will be true so let's look at the output and it's minus one which means it's true and that's why i told that not is an strange operator and that's all about operator in qc hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from this video if you like this video smash that like button if you have any suggestion or queries please comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe till next video stay safe stay healthy and wait for my video